should be rejoicing because yeah. the Lord showed yeah. me what yeah. I did not know. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I thought we were the best of friends, man. And the Lord showed me now he wasn't your friend at all. Because yeah. he would have never went out from you if he was ever out among you. So, it's when, so when relationship stops, I don't grieve and cry no more. I said, thank you, Lord, because you cutting fat. You trimming fat that I couldn't even see was fat. Now, you don't hear me. See, so, so you remember when God had said, who, who was it that he told him to take take the men down? Uh, well, who was Gideon. that? Gideon. Gideon. Gideon, didn't he? Uh -huh. He said, I tempt that first thing he said is tell him, everybody don't want to fight can leave. And a whole right. bunch of yeah. back off, didn't he? Right. Right. Now, now, you still got too many. Yeah. You still got too many. So I need to, you can't pick them. Some of them said, I want to fight with you, Gideon. They left, I'm here. Well, he think he got a crew on him. He couldn't pick them out, could he? Right. He didn't know right. who did it. God said, I tell you what, take them down by the lake. Down by the lake. And they make them all drink. Them drink. And watch these who do this. And then those who lack like a dollar. Yeah. 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 He said, then they go, get that. See, because we, listen, y'all, we don't know, do we? Because the Bible said that we look at the outer appearance. Mm -hmm. right. God looking at the heart. Mm -hmm. He said, these folk that slap slapping water like that, that licking and not looking up. He said, you get rid of them. Right. And they don't right. well, why you pick me? Yeah, go. Attention. You go. You where you pick me? Go. You go. Why not? Yep. Get them out of there, because God said, watch what they do. Right. So God manifested us who shouldn't be in our life, and that's why them two wives that I went and got and made them wives, he got them. <laughs> he manifested me. You thought they loved you. But they wasn't with you. Because if they were with you, they would have never went out from among you. Because you didn't know how to identify my manifested it. Now he gave me the one that mean to be with me. Are y'all in here? Okay, let's move on. Mm -hmm. uh, you're different. So see, like, you're different. You're not like them folk. Quit trying to be like them folk. Right. Oh, you don't hear me. John 15, 19. If ye were of the world, huh, the world would love its own, but because you're not of the world, but I have, ch I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Quit trying to be like the world. Act like the world, dress like the world, preach like the world, establish your church like the world. Right. You're different. Okay. When you have a relationship with Jesus, you're going to be different. Okay? You got to make sure you're ready for it. The enemy can't do anything without God's permission. That's what we need to get, y'all. He can't do anything without God allowing him to do it. Now, that's going to be hard for some of us to spiritually digest because yeah. we think God is such a bad person for stuff being allowed to happen to us. But everything that he allows to happen, Pastor, he's going to use for his benefit in serving his purpose in your life. Amen. All that abuse and bad treatment by daddy and whatnot, hatred by your friend, he's going to use all the experiences that you developed for his purpose in the ministry he's going to give you. You're going to be able to take all that hurt, all that pain, and channel it into something positive for God. <coughs> okay? I believe that. Amen. And love yourself. Mm -hmm. Huh? You are who God says you are. Right, right. Love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, who else going to throw it on you? Yes. Not, nay, in all of these things, we're more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angel principality, nor power, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate me from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And nothing in this world in existence can separate me from the love of God. If God loved me, I'm going to love myself. Get that in your spirit. Mm -hmm. Love yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. Understand this about it. All right. Come on, turn your turn your lesson book to page, I think, uh, number eight. Page number eight. Now, I want to say to Sister April, thank God for her. Uh, I went on YouTube and and uh, and uh, saw me saw me on YouTube. Uh, matter of fact, they two three of me on YouTube. And, <laughs> man, I I got to thank you, Lord. I, I didn't realize that yeah, you're doing some great work. You know, you really don't know all the time what you're doing and saying for God until you kind of look at it yourself. 
So thank God for her. She she getting us up here in this class and stuff. Amen. 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 Thank God for that. Amen. If she if you all can go if you miss it. Matter of fact, uh, Brother Bobby and Brother Larry is at a funeral. That's why they're not here today. And and then uh, Brother uh, Blair has a home issue okay. with his house that he's working on. That's why they're not here. But uh, they all want to know will they be able to stream this? Will they be able to see this today? So that's why I want to say they want to know. But can we? Because we ain't gonna be there. But we want to know where you were so we can follow you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said I don't know if it's gonna be on YouTube or on uh, Douglas Robinson Facebook, but we we get that to you. Mm -hmm. So that they, this is a handy too. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And so we want to don't want you to know it's useful, but we don't want you to feel uh, uh, we don't want you to feel like you you uh, are being abused or used or overexposed if you are if you're you know concerned about. See, being seen or anything. I don't know if police want you or not. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but if you do, let us know. We'll make sure you won't. <laughs> well, no, you know, some people are sitting there saved, but they got some problems. <laughs> you know, yeah, it was a man. I think he uh, robbed the bank and did something, or killed somebody or something, and changed his life and was preaching the word. Mm -hmm. 30 something years later, and they got it. It ain't no, it ain't no, uh, what they call a time limit on murder. Mm -hmm. And they come and get him. He was saved, preaching the word. They got him. Because he got so big, they had him on oh, <laughs> YouTube or something. <laughs> That's him. So we don't want, we don't want him friends on. Let us know. We make sure we won't put y'all on this. <laughs> get y'all out of it. Okay. In our book, in our book, number eight. Now, understand this, church. We're going from our journey from religion into relationship. We've been in religion and we're trying to maintain what God requires, requires of us as far as our method of, of, of doing things. So can somebody give me the definition of religion? Your definition, what you think. Come on. Okay. Brother, hey, who, who's that? Who's talking? Who's talking? I, I, okay, Pastor. But please, I kind of believe religion can be uh, different nominations. It could be uh, Jehovah Witness. It could be Buddha, Allah, or any. Out of religion. Uh -huh. uh, but when you say Christian, they hold you a little bit higher. A lot higher. You know, Christian folks be someone that stands on the word. And, and, but that that religion to the relation, I feel like you, you leave in that world and then you come into a godly. God is ordaining you to walk into. Okay, so what is the religion for Buddha? Right. Right. Or Muslim. What is the religion for Muslim? Let's say Muslim. What is their religion? They believe in their own religion. They practice yeah. praying face down. They they face to the ground. They kneel down. You know, every, about three times a day, I believe it is. They mm -hmm. morning, noon, and night. They'll get out. All everybody in there. They'll get out on some sort of little mat, mm -hmm. and they'll all look towards the east, and they'll yeah. all hold their head down. Right. Everybody in that whole little city. That's mm -hmm. one of their practices. Absolutely. Right. That's not religion. religion. How they do? Come on, sister. I think it's a set of traditions. A set right. of traditions. Right. A set that of traditions. That's right. Man-made some traditions that people right. have to follow. Yeah. yeah. No matter what your heart is, just follow these, and you're okay. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Want to understand under this? Religion. Mm -hmm. Buddha. You got to rub the bit dough, portion the belly. You know, and you got to chant. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Have y'all heard Buddha? You have to chant. And you have to do, I guess, I think you have to touch your fingertips and yum, 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 yum. You got to chant this stuff. That's religion. That's the, the way they, the method and how they perform their, 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 their respect or homage to whatever. Right. The method. Okay. What's, what's the religion for Christianity? Read your Bible first of all. Live in the Word. Huh? Submit to the Lord. Live, 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 in, live in the Word. The religion for for Christianity. Read your Bible. How are we supposed to pray? Our Father. I mean, Lord. what 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 personality? What appearance we supposed <laughs> to have when we pray? Well, they kneel down. Close your eyes. Close, Close your eyes. Maybe put yeah. your hands together. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Come on, like I said, if I'm sitting up here, if I'm saying, dear God, in the name of Jesus Christ, some of y'all go, why is he not bowing his head? Why is he not closing his eyes? Yeah. So I'm a bad person because I'm not, I'm not religiously doing this as Christians do. Huh? What's the religion of Christians? You can show up at church. The Bible tells us to do that, don't it? 
In Hebrews, it doesn't tell us to do that. In 10, Hebrews 10, it tells us to say, not the assembling of yourself. So I've you just come to church. That's religion. I'm going to come to church, don't we? When you're getting ready to leave uh, service and go to the restroom during the middle of service, what do y'all do? <laughs> Religion. Religion. And y'all don't even know what that means. Slavery. That's what I told him. I heard him. I told him. That's, that's, slavery. that's what was done through slavery days that the slave had to get permission from master to move from the position that he was in. Restroom balls. Yep. Restroom balls. Go with your balls. And, and if he didn't acknowledge you, you didn't move. Yeah. And that's why we're. We even get the slave mentality when we do it, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. We don't just walk up like that, do we? Come on, they, they duck their head. Come on now. Like they're trying to duck from the view or something. And come on now. And they teach children how to do that, too. Huh? They teach children how to do that. Every time I see a child do that, I say, don't do that. This is, this, is the, this is what we're at. We're saturated with religion and have no relationship. And so this is this what we're just talking about the religion part of, of service. We got it, we the way we do it. And I'm not saying all of it is bad. It is it has its place and it's instituted by God of how we're supposed to come in. We're supposed to show homage to God. Raising our hands signifies submission. Huh? Submission to God, lifting up, raising, uh, indication of exalting. All of that is good. Kneeling down. Indicate humility. All that's good. We, that's not bad. But when we're locked up in that, and then we get up from kneeling and cuss my sister out, when we get up, bring our hands down from uh, God and point at somebody who ain't doing. You hear what I'm saying? No relationship. We got all the religion right, but then when it comes to relationship, we lose it. We're doing all the things correctly. We're here at every service, but I'm here talking about everybody that's at the service. And so we've got to make sure we, we understand the places the Bible said, make sure we keep things in order. Didn't it say that? In 